Hi, my name is Mike Rutkowski. I live in Oakland, Maryland, near Deep Creek Lake. I'm 63. Today is September 26, 2019. And I'm here to do an update on the video that God had me put out on August the 5th. Uh, what I want to talk about is uh, in that video you'll find that uh, I turned to the Lord for my healing. Uh, I ended up wearing my contacts for a little over five years, the same contacts he had me wearing. Uh, always wondered why I just wouldn't be able to do away with them and not wear them at all. And uh, he kind of disclosed that to me uh, about nine, ten days after I made that video. I woke up the one morning and uh, was basically told to stop wearing my contacts. Uh, went out, started driving, of course things were totally blurry, and uh, I think my prescription wise, I think I was like a negative 4.5, you know, in my eyes. Uh, anyway. Uh, what the Lord basically told me, you know, here's the thing, you have to realize it's already done. I was already healed. But you got to believe it and you have to act on it. You can't basically, in this world, everybody's looking for everything right away. They're looking for that instantaneous miracle. Uh, they really don't understand the scriptures where God, it's called a healing. And a healing basically happens over time. Uh, it realistically depends on your faith and how you stand on your faith. So anyway, I mean, the Lord basically told me to stop wearing my contacts and um, I stopped wearing them. I think that was on uh, August the 14th. So uh, as I said, first days it was, let's just say, pretty blurry out there. Uh, but started going for walks, started listening to him, started understanding that uh, basically your eyes, your body, everything, it's just like they say, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. And where we are concerned, basically Jesus already did it. It's already done. You're healthy as anything in your spirit. But you have to act on your faith and stand on your faith in order to see it manifest in your flesh. So basically, I just started going out and taking walks, praising God, thanking Him for my perfect vision that it was already done. And um, went out, and as I say, little by little by little, each day it started becoming clearer and clearer and clearer. And uh, you know, as the Lord has shown me is, I guess it was going to take time and just like anything when you're, the Bible is about patience and endurance. You got to be willing to stand on faith. You got to wait on the Lord as the Bible says, and the Spirit will guide you into all truth. You have to listen, you have to follow. Doesn't happen at our pace, believe me, I've wanted things to happen sooner, but on this six year journey, I'm learning, he's teaching, I'm following. And see, and that's the problem with today's world. Everybody's following uh, some preacher, some pastor, and everything else instead of following Jesus. They don't understand that Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. When the veil of the temple was torn in two, Jesus gave us direct access to God through to him through the Holy Spirit you can communicate directly to Jesus you have to realize Jesus God doesn't dwell in temples read the scriptures I think it's in Acts 7 and even in Acts 17 where it tells you that God does not dwell in temples made by human hands God dwells inside of us you have to learn to live in the spirit to understand what he's telling you so anyway, uh, I've been on this journey, it's, it's just been six weeks now, and uh, 
My vision is getting clearer and clearer and clearer. I'm learning as he showed me is that there's nothing wrong with my eyes to begin with. It's just that I believe the lies of this world. And I did things that basically abused my eyes. You know, I would be in front of computer screens all the time and everything else and so forth. And then, you know, you have to realize I've been wearing glasses or contacts, as I said, I'm 63 since about when I was 10. So it's like 53 years, you know, I was raised believing that, you know, I needed these glasses and contacts. So, of course, as the years went on, my prescriptions got stronger and stronger. And, you know, this journey towards God all started with problems with my eyes and everything else. But as he shown me is like, there is nothing wrong with my eyes. It's just that I'm believing the lies of this world and I'm following the lies of this world. And that, as I say, is, you know, like this world tries to tell you that it's hereditary, it's genetics and things like that. That is all a bunch of lies by this world. You've got to realize that God provided everything we need to live a godly life. It's there. But you have to believe it. And you have to act on it. You have to be willing to do it. And that's what I've done. I've been standing on his word. I've been standing on his truth. And I've been following where he's been leading me and where he's teaching me. So I walk through Deep Creek Lake State Park just about every day. And I usually walk probably like four or five miles. And I'm noticing, you know, now that uh, I'm doing it without glasses or contacts, and my vision is becoming clearer and clearer and stronger and stronger with each day that I go without them. And as I say, I'm just sitting here and I'm just in amazement that, you know, uh, I, I'm living the life that we are all meant to live. I see no doctors, I see no dentist, I see no uh, uh, medical doctor of any kind, no eye doctors, no nothing. I have no health insurance, I don't spend a dime on it. I, ha there's, I have no need for it because I never get sick. I can never get sick. And with God, there is no sickness. The, the problem, the reason you get sick is because you've sinned. And what I have learned and what the Lord has taught me and what he's asking me to do is I will be making some videos little by little and I'll be going over various topics and trying to get those of you out there to understand God's truth. You don't need me, you don't need anybody. You need Jesus. You need to follow Jesus. The problem is, is this world and this world's teaching and this world's lies has got everyone confused. Everyone's following churches which are not what the Bible what a church truly is. If you will do some research on the internet about the true church of God and what the meaning of the word church is in the Bible, you'll find that it's not what this world wants you to believe that it is. So when you're going to a service and everything else on a Sunday or Saturday or whatever or so forth, you're actually sinning in the eyes of God because you're actually going and you're following some man. You're not following Jesus. You're going to some pastor, some preacher, some minister, whoever, and you're listening to their own interpretation and their own opinion of what they think the scripture's trying to tell you when you can actually get it from Jesus yourself. I go to no one, you know, I was raised in the Catholic religion. I believed the lies of the Catholic religion for like 57 years. And, you know, and when God, when I started this journey and I quit everything and I turned to God for my healing, you know, he eventually told me, you know, to leave the church. I didn't understand why at first, but he's made it quite clear how I was believing all the wrong things and following all the wrong things. The more you spend your time in scriptures, the more you spend your time praying in tongues, the more revelations the Lord 
lays upon you, and the Lord will teach you. You'll get, you can get your knowledge from God himself, no one else. You need no one else, not me, not anyone else. And I'll get into these topics and I'll explain more little by little. I'll go through various topics coming up and I'll do it as God directs me and tells me what he wants me to talk about. And I'll start relaying this information to those of you out there who uh, desire to gain more knowledge and to grow closer to the Lord. So again, uh, I'm living a life where I'm free from everything. I have no job. I rely strictly on the Lord to provide for my needs. Uh, I basically, you know, when I quit my job as president of Baltimore Wind Industrial, he eventually had me cash in everything I owned, my stocks, my IRAs, my pensions, and so forth. And I literally gave it all away. Uh, you know, it got to the point at one time he had me believing that we would be raptured out of this world on June 24th of 2018. When that didn't happen, I was kind of like, Lord, what's the deal here? Because right around that time, I had literally run out of cash. I, uh, I had basically given everything away. Uh, I now realize that, as he told me, that was a preparation date. He literally separated me from this world. And the more you understand scripture, that's exactly what God does. He takes you out of this world. Uh, basically everything that I would do, like for example, if I liked bowling, I was in a bowling league and things like that. Uh, he's taken that all out of my life. My flesh, me, myself, yeah, I still like the bowl. But my spirit tells me no. I don't want you doing that, so I don't do it. See, I live by the Spirit. I don't live by the flesh. I do what God is directing me to do. So, I mean, literally right now, I mean, for the last year and a half, he's kind of had me to himself where he's just been teaching, relaying, and guiding, and making me stronger and stronger in the Spirit. And, uh, I'm actually awaiting to be baptized in the Spirit. A lot of people don't understand what it truly means to be baptized in the Spirit. A lot of people think that once you receive the Holy Spirit that you're baptized in the Spirit. That is not correct. As I say, you get this knowledge directly from Jesus. Once you're baptized in the Spirit, I will be able to do the things that Jesus did with the apostles did. He will direct me to lay hands on the sick, to do whatever it is that he desires me to do. Until then, I just follow and do the things that he directs me to do. As uh, it says in Luke, the student is not above the teacher, but once the student is fully trained, he will be just like the teacher. And that would is what God has been doing with me these last six plus years. He's been training me. He's been teaching me. He's been sanctifying and purifying my heart in his truth. And this world just doesn't understand this. They don't understand what's available to everyone because the majority of Christians, more than 90% of them, are following the wrong thing. They're following lies of the devil. Why do you think there's so many religions, so many churches, so many different things out there? They're all just deceptions of the devil to guide, to get you away from the truth so you just don't understand the power and the, the things that are available to you. As I say, I never worry about getting sick because I can never get sick anymore. If you understand the scriptures, and you follow God's commands and you do what he's telling you to do, he'll protect you. Sickness is strictly of the devil. It's because you have sinned and you have not done what God commands you to do. And that is why you have opened the door to allow Satan to attack you. Anyway, I'll get more into these things little by little with each of these topics. For right now, just giving you a quick update to 
kind of tell you where I stand and where I've been going and what the Lord is teaching me. And uh, just want to say, take care, listen to the Lord, pay attention. And uh, those of you out there that want to learn, uh, he's going to evidently have me show you and relate to you some of the things that he's taught me to help you on your journey to finding him and getting closer to him. So that's what a true disciple is all about. It's not about, you know, having you come and to a church or a ministry week after week, giving your money there and things like that. that. That's not what it's all about. It's just like what he did with me. I mean, you know, he had me give my people, he would tell me certain people or places he wanted me to go or who he wanted me to give money to. And that's what I did. I just listened and followed what he, where he told me to go. It's not giving it to these ministries and these churches that are out there today and everything else. You're, you're just following wisdom of men and what they're trying to tell you to do. And you're not listening to the Spirit and following what Jesus wants you to do. You can listen directly to Him and you can get all the knowledge you need directly from Jesus. It's available to every believer. You've just got to understand, that's the problem, as he says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. You don't understand the truth. You don't truly understand what is available to each of us, to every believer in Jesus Christ. So take care, praise the Lord, and uh, the, when he gives me the next and tells me to do it, I'll provide the next update. So. Uh, I'll talk to you later and take care.